So we have a one-third fraction times a one-half fraction. So let's color code this a little bit. Okay, so one-third. Now it doesn't matter if one-third is along the horizontal or vertical. I'm just going to make it along the horizontal. So I'm just going to divide it up into one-thirds here. So one-third is right there. And this is the length one-third that I want. Okay, so I put it on a number line. Okay, now I want you to understand the number line, but really it still means that that length is one-third. And I need a one-half length. Okay, the one-half length, I'm going to put along the vertical. If, if one-third is along the vertical horizontal, one-half has to be along the vertical. So there's my one-half line. And this length here represents half. <coughs> so length times width, the area that I want is this area in here, the length times the width area. So what is that area? Well, that area in terms of the whole, well, the one by one square represents a whole. There's six pieces that make up this whole. So then that must be my denominator. Okay, must be out of six. And there's only one of those six pieces that are shaded. That's the area that I want. So one, one third times one half gives me the area of one six, and my diagram confirms that. Okay, we can do the same thing here. What if the numerator is more than one? Well, three quarters. I'm going to do along my horizontal. Okay, so there's my three quarters. I'm going to maybe do that and do that one in green this time. So I keep it consistent. Let's do that the horizontal in red. Okay, so the three quarters is right there. Okay, so this length here represents my length length piece, and I need the width piece of two fifths. Okay, so my two fifths piece I'm going to do along the vertical, so I have to do this in one fifth pieces. So I'm going to go one fifth, two fifths, three fifths. Four fifths, five fifths. Okay, so two fifths is right there, so it must represent this length here. So the number of pieces that I have shaded then, it's got to be this rectangle in here. So it's got to be this piece, this piece, all the way to the three quarter line. So there it is. There is my answer. There's the answer to two fifths length times four th three quarters length. I'm just going to make sure that that's nice and clear. Three quarters. Okay. Three out of four. So again, what it, fraction of the whole does this represent? Okay. So if I take a look at again, my one by one square represents my one whole piece. There are four groups this way, five groups this way. So there's 20 pieces that make up my whole. And that makes perfect sense because... I have four groups of four that make up my whole this way. I have groups of five that make up my whole this way. So that makes sense that I have 20 pieces that make up my whole. Well, what about my, the shaded part? Well, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six pieces that make up the what I'm counting, those six pieces there. And if we have five groups this way. We actually have two groups that we shaded this way. And we have three groups that we, in fact, this is just grouping. So we can just do two groups times three groups to get our six groups of shaded area. Hmm, interesting. 